This can is sharp once it's all cut up like this. Yep, I'm spilling. Sorry! I'm tired. I just fell asleep for like an hour, and maybe. I don't know. I was sleeping, so I wasn't really paying attention to the time. I was lying. I was clickbaiting. Just call me clickbait. Anyways, we're on our way to a signing right now. We're inside of a mall because the shop is inside of a mall. And then afterwards, what are we doing afterwards? Are we just winging our day today? We don't really have anything to do. Today's a chill day, guys. Yeah, thank God. What's up? Murray, I'm the uh, regional. Was. Yeah, right. 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 Angus, nice to meet you. Okay, so the line outside is getting longer and longer as time goes on. We still probably have about like a couple more minutes before Dylan and them getting here, so we're gonna really quickly, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna give the kids uh, just a chance to be in the vlog really quick. Should do the hand thing. Here we go. You're in the vlog, everybody's in the vlog. Okay, so we're gonna start here in just a second. All the kids are out there, they're getting really stoked, they're getting ready. Watson just went out there to take a leak, and they all started freaking out because they thought he was gonna do something for them, but uh, he clickbaited them. So they're gonna let them hear it in, uh, in just a minute, so uh, time lapse. <laughs> Not shout out to your brother. Shout out to the kid that right when we started brought me this huge chocolate milk. I also got a fidget spinner. I got this sick blue car and a note, a little fan mail note. So I love when kids give me stuff. It's so cool. So uh, we're going to keep this going. We're almost done. And then we're wigging the rest of the day. We're hungry though. Yeah. yeah. We have Are we hungry, hungry boys? Yeah, we're, we're hungry. hungry. We're starving. We're starving. Oh, yep. Pretty close. Can we get through? Oh, yeah, we can get through. So as you guys saw of the title of this video, we have like a scooter hack thing that we're doing today. So we need to get a Coke can. I don't drink like normal Cokes that much, but uh, this is this is like the main thing that you would use to, to, to make this thing work. So we're gonna figure out if we can make this work or not today. Oh, we're looking for the cafe. See where that is? Next door. It's just the, the window? Okay, cool. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. This is not the right building. <laughs> we screwed up. We're in the right spot now. We're in the Yo, they got grass and everything. I wonder how often they mow this thing. That was a really dumb joke. Boom. Hi, that's all we need. 215. I got my sweetheart. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. You too. She definitely wanted me. She definitely had a crush on me, dude. She called me sweetheart. She's like, yeah, you go sweetheart. Not just my sweetheart. Yeah. No, not the sweetheart. She said my sweetheart. Her sweetheart. She said my sweetheart. So we have our Coke can right now. We're going to cruise over to the shop and uh, we're going to show you guys what to do if you have a clamp that's too big. Okay. Oh, R.I.P. That hurt so bad. Oh no, God. I hit right on the corner. Oh, dude. Are you good? Oh yeah, I'm good, but far out. Ah. So, okay, so a lot of you guys liked some of the scooter hacks that I posted. So we're gonna do another one of those today. I have my scoot right here, the blue one that you guys saw me make. I switched my forks over. I have oil stick forks on. I have my other forks in my suitcase, so I will be putting those ones back on here in just a few days, but uh, right now I'm just running these. But, oh boy. For this hack, you'll need three things. An Allen wrench, scissors, and a normal soda can. It can be whatever, like it can be a Red Bull can, whatever. As long as it's just that normal thin kind of a tin can. We've all, we've all experienced this before. We've all been through days or whatever where you, you went to put your clamp on and it's just like a very, very small amount too big. So when you tighten it, the backs touch. This clamp, th that doesn't happen, but this clamp was stretched out at some point. So it's just a little bit too big for these bars. So this one doesn't want to close down all the way. But if your clamp is ever touched in the back and you can't fit like a normal shim, like that huge shim, which I don't have right here. I thought I had one. I do actually. So here's a fresh clamp. So um, you know the shim. I'm talking about. See on the inside, this shim. For this hack, you would not be able to fit uh, this thick shim on the inside of the clamp because you wouldn't have enough space to fit your bars in there afterwards. So, this is just a filler. Um, it's, it's just kind of a substitute that will still work. 
that you can fit on the inside of this clamp to where it, it won't close down quite as much. Now, it's not going to make a huge, like, significant difference, but it could get you back on the road. It could get you back into the skate park while, uh, while riding with your scoot and everything without having to trash your clamp. Here are my bars. Here's the clamp. Normally, when I put a clamp on, this is what happens. It's, it's pretty tight, usually. Like, I can, I gotta kind of push down a little bit, and even then, like, I would have to hit it a couple times to get it to go all the way on. But, with this clamp in particular, that's not good. Ah! Clamps should not do this. If they do do that, something might be wrong with the clamp. 95% of the time, if your clamp moves around like this, it's probably not going to tighten down quite all the way, unless maybe you stretched it like this one was. This one was stretched out a lot, so it can't close down quite all the way. So this hack will make this clamp work again. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to have your clamp off of your bars and set your bars aside for now. Then you're going to grab your Coke can. Uh, you might want to have like your parents around or something like that, or maybe your older brother or something, or just, just be safe when you're doing this. Uh, don't do anything dumb because you're going to be using scissors and possibly a razor blade. But I'm going to try to avoid the razor blade right now. If you guys have a razor blade, um, have your parents come in and they can stick the razor blade just straight through the can. It will cut it, no problem. And then as long as you, as soon as you get that kind of started, that, that small cut started, which you're just going to stick it in and start to go to the side. Um, once you've gotten that going, uh, you, you can use the rest of the can by uh, just, or you can cut the rest of the can just using scissors. So I'm going to make a small incision on the back right here. I'm just going to try to poke through. If you're doing it with scissors, please be very careful. Uh, the scissors are not a joke. They are sharp. Just make sure you're not going like into your hand or anything like that. I have my hand down a little bit further so that if I was to slip, it would go throughout the top. So I'm just going to make this small incision right here. Okay, now we're pierced through the can. We're, we're through. So I'm just going to remove the scissors really quick. And now I'm going to go start with this little, this little slit that I just made right in here. I'm just going to cut a line. This thing is very, very thin. So it will add a little bit of space. Like I said, it's not a huge amount of space, but it will still fit in your clamp while your bars can fit uh, underneath the shim. So I'm going to take my scissors right now. I'm going to start to cut. So basically what I'm doing, I'm not going to make it super long, but you would rather, you would rather make this... Um, the shim a little bit too long than a little bit too short because you can always kind of trim it down afterwards. You know what? I'm just going to go all the way around. So I'm just going to go all the way around the can until the top of the can just falls off. This can is sharp once it's all cut up like this. Yep, I'm spilling. Sorry! Alright, and there we go. The top of the can is off and there's more soda in there. I've made a mess. The top of the can is completely off. You don't really need this. This you can just set aside, but you're going to need this bottom half now, and Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clamp. This shim needs to be the same thickness as the clamp. So I'm going to, basically you're, you're just going to put this against the side right here. Now I know that I need to make another cut at the bottom of where that clamp would be. So it's, it's around, it's around like right here. That's all I need to cut. You can get like a sharpie or something like that to where you can, um, you can just kind of like gauge where you're supposed to be. But I know that I need to go at the bottom of the C in the Coke. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut directly down like this. Right until I get to the bottom of that C. Which right there is about good. So that, that's about it. Now I can check it really quick by just pushing, oh geez, by just pushing the can in and, and put it to the side. And I know that the can, it's, it's the size of the clamp that cut is. So it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I can always trim that down later like I said. But now I'm going to go towards the bottom of this cut. And I'm just going to cut around the entire can once again. I don't need the bottom of this can. This I can set aside. But I do, I need this. This is your shim right here. This is, this is very, very thin. It's almost like paper thin. And this will fit in between your clamp to where it will fit around your bars a little bit more snug. So I'm going to put the, the can on the inside of the clamp. Just, just small, like a small amount. And I'm just going to see where I can, where I would need to cut it to where it would only go around once. Now, you can go around twice, technically, but it, it's gonna make it very difficult um, for you to fit your bars in. Uh, but if you were to put two in there, you might as well just try to fit the normal standard shim in there. If that doesn't work, then, like I said, you can experiment. But um, I'm looking at mine, and I'm going around the clamp one time, and my cut needs to be about right here. If, if you're not sure how far you need to cut, just cut a little bit. Like, if you wanna just cut a little bit from right here, now you can kind of check it. Now I need, I know I need to go smaller, so I'm going to cut a little bit more off. If you don't, you don't want to screw this up and have to go through this entire process again. Cut, and before you know it, you're through a whole 12 pack of Coke. So I'm just going to go little by little. Now I need to cut a little tiny bit more. 
So now I've cut my shim and I know that if I push this down, it's going to be pretty close. So it's, it's sticking out a little tiny bit, but it's very, very easy to fix that. I kind of knew that previously. That's why I wasn't too worried about this thing being really janky on the top right here. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So you see how the top's just a little, a little gnarly on the top. Basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to push the bottom of the shim up to, to where it's touching the bottom of the clamp, just like that. So I know that the bottom is nice and flush right there. So now I'm just gonna, you would have a sharpie you could make a small line on the outside of that shim. And th that way you know where you're supposed to go. You know that's the straight line that you're gonna wanna follow. But um, I'm just gonna cut mine. But if you want it to be very, very clean, grab a sharpie. So just remove the shim and start your cut. All right, now I've cut everything. Now I'm gonna insert the shim. And that looks pretty good. It could be a little bit better, um, but I'm just, this is just a how-to video. If I really spent more time on this, I could get it perfect. But now you, you can see that the shim is through the entire bottom. It's going all the way to the top pretty much. It could go, like I said, a little bit more, but that's fine. This should work just fine. And uh, so now I'm going to slide this onto my bars and tighten it down, and it should work just fine. Now, you can't just force this thing down right away because if you do catch the top of that shim, you're just going to destroy it. You're going to have to go through this entire process once again. So I'm just going to slowly insert my bars and just kind of check to see if I can kind of jimmy it. You can also like bring it up a little bit if you want to and start it that way. Okay, so so now my bars are in the clamp. I'm just going to tighten it a little tiny bit just to kind of get everything started and just to make sure the clamp doesn't fall off. Now, like I said, it might still be a little bit loose. So you can see mine's not completely tight, but um, you guys can kind of do it. You can do more if you want to, but previously that would have I would have tightened it a lot more to get it to stay to where I want it to stay. It looks kind of cool too because you can kind of see the red. Um, some of you guys might not be into that, but you can use different colors of cans and it'll uh, look kind of cool. So, now I'm going to put this on my scoot and see how it works. Now I'm going to straighten my wheel a little bit, tighten your clamp, boom, she's tight, everything's good to go. That's just a quick trick for you guys. If you have a clamp that's just not quite tightening all the way, so if you guys want to ever try that, uh, send it. It's free, you can get a Coke can from the trash, or you can go, if you really want to be really clean or whatever, you can. Um, just go buy one and then rinse it out after. I didn't rinse it out, which is why I have a huge mess now. But, quick DIY, free hack. But this this isn't going to work for everybody because obviously you need a foof clamp for this to actually work. I mean, you could really, you could do it, I guess, if you didn't have a foof clamp. If you just wanted that, the sides to show out, like that little color. It's up to you. It'll keep you rolling. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to end the video right there. Um, I do, let's see, tomorrow I go to Mel... Is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I'll go to Melbourne. So tomorrow, if you guys want to catch me, I'll probably be at the new park. I don't know what it's called. Max told me and I forgot. But we'll be cruising out there, riding my scoot. So try to find me. If you do find me, ask me for some stickers and I shall give you guys some. But until next time, your boy's out. Later.